there we are. We're going to work on it finally. The 126 Grasshopper. And it's got the, as I guess it's pronounced, Duramax Professional Cut 52. And don't stick your hands in the blades. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to see if I can, uh, there's my chain I was looking for the other day. Sweet! Found my chain. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, we got to take the side panel off because the battery's on it. I'll show you, it runs great. I'll start it up real fast. Now Paul won't start. But the keys got damaged. I don't know why. So we'll fire this thing. Hey, ready? I had it running a little bit ago. Yeah, it looks like I might have to choke it a little. Give her a little gas. Give her a little chokey. it right now though because we don't have the uh, fan sucking there by the by the head and that's what cools the engine blows that air down through there and out through the bottom all right because it usually has a shroud on it and this sucks it in here and blows it through here blows it through those fins and that's what cools your engine and blows it through those fins and that's it anyway I'm gonna unhook the battery I gotta take this hair shroud off so we'll get back in a minute taking the back end off this hair grasshopper so I can get to the motor a little better yeah doggies I got my weaker impact it's a Walmart brand I can't remember what they call that it's a Campbell House build or something or something like that it works. some metal okay now I just gotta uh, take these cables off unhook the fuel line vent line goes to the air breather and uh, let's see what else I gotta do oh I gotta get underneath it take off the, the belts and the clutch so we'll be back in a little bit Dang it, this hurt my sore wrist on my stupid corner right here. I had to do a little uh, crazy thing here, tied this chain to my rafter.
keep that mower from going forward on me. But I'm gonna see if I can block the front end up now and make it where she's doing the roll. Ow, that hurt. Now I can get underneath my, to my bolts and stuff, and I got my car ramps underneath it. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, I'm going to fix the front up a little bit. Alright, let me look all under here and show you what I'm looking at. I'm thinking I might be able to get to that, uh, that oil. I'm going to whip this, uh, pulley system off here. And, uh, see if I can get to the, uh, it probably needs a new drive belt too, maybe. I'll probably get a new one and save that one for used. Eh. We'll just put it back on. We can do it another day. Look how dirty this is. Look how dirty that is. I don't know if the oil was dripping here. Through that, coming down, or if it's leaking out of that seal and it was throwing it everywhere. I'm thinking it's leaking higher up on the motor somewhere. But I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and replace this crank still. And we'll see if it, what else it looks like up there. I'm going to take the motor off. I may uh, pull, flip it upside down and put a new gasket on it. I think it's leaking everywhere, but we're going to do some work to this baby. It's got a big old heavy spring right there. That's what's on the drive belt. Okay. I got to find out what I'm doing here. I think I gotta get a wrench put on that. I can get that belt off of there. Okay. What a mess. This thing's a dirty freaking mess. But okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there it is. You get a big old half inch thing, put in half inch drive ratchet, put it in that. Then I can loosen that belt. Okay. Let me go get one. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even move. That's it's supposed to move, I thought. Looks like it should move. That's stupid. It's gotta go that way. Yeah. That ain't gonna move. That's if it does move it's gotta go this way. Let's try it. That ain't moving. That's stupid. That might be something you stick your socket in there so you pry it. I don't know what the hell is. Let me go get a socket to fit that. I think I got them right here somewhere, don't I? Where are those babies? They were right above my head. Okay. take my time here because I don't want to get a headache. It's probably a three-quarter which is on my impact. Wherever it is, right over here. Give me that. Let's see what this does. Okay. That's tightening in it. I need to go the other way, fool. Ha! <laughs> need to go the other way. There we go. And it only goes a little ways because it hits the motor. That's nice. It went enough. Oh, man. Now it's going to fly off there like a crazy thing. Get off that bolt. Whoa, I think he's got a lot of power. Woo! If I can get that back over, that's going to be amazing. Well, that's hitting my uh, bolt. That's dumb. I need this.
I'm going to try to take this bolt there out. I'll take it off with an impact wrench, see what happens. You guys still watching? Yeah. <laughs> She's coming down, boys. Old thing's coming off. There's the clutch. The clutch is off. I can clean that up, make it look better. All that oil in that clutch can't be good. And we got this. This is the drive belt. This just goes around those two pulleys, the pumps, and then, uh, around like this it's easy easy peasy baby it's easy little babies it's easy girls that might be stuck on there because that pulley is holding it let's see if I can move it where's my ratchet cross your fingers oh I can't believe it's coming off Thank God, it's gonna be put back together with some uh, anti-seize, because we don't want it to not come off next time. Okay, I probably need to mark that. Oh, it's pretty easy. The tapered, tapered side to the to the motor. That's what I thought was leaking. It may, it don't look like it's been leaking, but we'll say it has been. I wonder why. Oh, I thought that was uh, busted, but it's just had some dirt on it. Made it look bad. I'm gonna lay that the same way it come off. Let's look at this for a minute. That's been pretty hot. It could have been leaking that seal. That's a weird seal there. That's a crank. And that seal's up in there. I don't see how it comes even out of there. It's a different seal. I guess it beats up in there quite a ways. It looks pretty hot, but it don't really look like it's been leaking. I need to get this off that motor and fire it up and see if I can get some oil come out of that. Let it run for a while. You know what I think is leaking? Not this. I think where it's leaking is the, the pan gasket on the motor. The, or the motor splits in half. That gasket's leaking. And it's coming down, dripping on everything. But I'm going to start it up anyway, if it'll run. And let it run for a long time and see if it leaks around this here shaft. It's really been turned down a lot. This here's the uh, cranks out here. It's been turned down to this, uh, like a 7 8 shaft. I need to get this where it ain't rubbing the crank because I don't want that rubbing the crank. I need to get it over here. So then I'm going to fire it up. Okay. That's all you guys get to watch right now. We're getting there though. I was going to fire it up, but why? I'm just going to say hell with it. I'm going to get this all the seals in the, in the uh, other gasket. I'm going to replace them. I'm going to take the motor off of it. We'll just flip that motor up right there where she's sitting. We'll get her off there, flip her up where she's sitting, and work, fix it. All right, let's do some more. All right, I got it tore down this far anyway. This thing might have been leaking a little bit. This little valve cover, it ain't a valve cover, really. It's just a cover there, a vent like for your motor. Then uh, your fuel line runs all the way across here and vents into there. It's a fuel vent. This is a crankcase vent going into the breather. And uh, yeah, this is your stator for your alternator system. And this here is your voltage regulator. This is your uh, coil, your second coil over there. This is your kill wire. When you hit your key, it grounds it out. Your starter right here. Got a plastic cover on the thing. That's pretty cool. Keep water out of it. 
Uh, but we're getting closer. I just a long time ago I lost this size of torque bit. I think it's a ten or something. I need to go get me a new set of torque bits because I'm tired of jacking her with. I tried to get it with one that's a little too small, but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to get me a new set of torque bits so that I can uh, take that out. I'm gonna go grab me some new tools. Every time I work on something, seems like I gotta buy a new tool. Not every time, but this is a pretty good job. And this is fun. I'm having a blast. It is fun. I'm really having a blast. I'm gonna pull that motor off and right in here, you see this gasket right there? That's the one I'm gonna replace. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart. But I'm hoping that's leaking. I'm pretty sure it's leaking up in there and because it's got oil everywhere. And these motors are prone to leak on that gasket. So, if nothing else, I'll fix it. Then I'm going to replace this seal and the crank seal on the other side. So, we'll get her tore apart here pretty soon and we'll look inside this motor and see how she looks. But she runs great, you guys heard that. So, let me see what we got here. That's it for now on the grasshopper. Uh, I could put this video on, I guess, and uh, just show a little bit at a time because that way the video wouldn't be so long. I think I'll do that. We got making progress. So, this will be a, one of the grasshopper videos. Alright, we'll talk to y'all later and uh, hit my like button because you know it helps me out. Ha, ha, ha.